book lovers, Jen here with a YA book review for you of Olivia Twist by Lori Langdon. And this is a spin on the Oliver Twist story where Oliver is actually a girl who uh, was raised as a boy or orphan until her uncle took her in. Um, and raised her as a fine young lady. We also have Dodger in this story um, who plays the reluctant hero slash love interest and we have a villain named Monks um, who is terrorizing the orphans of the hill and we have another conflict which is um, Olivia kind of having dual identities where she still dresses as a boy to take care of these orphans and she ends up betrothed um, to someone who does not like that she does this because it does not fit into high class society. And then we have a little bit of a love triangle with her and Dodger. Um, I don't really recall much of the actual Oliver Twist story. I never saw the play and I feel like I probably read it sometime because I was an English major and I was always in honors English in high school and in junior high. Um, so I'm pretty sure I probably read it somewhere, but I don't really remember it all outside of the orphan part, to be honest. Um, I really liked this, actually. It was um, really well written. It grabbed my attention right from the beginning. Um, I had kind of been in and out of reading slumps where I haven't been feeling a lot. Um, I was kind of fantasied out and really struggling with some uh, higher fantasy novels. Uh, I started another book and got really frustrated with all the grammatical errors and the plot seemed to be um, stealing or borrowing a lot of ideas from another really popular series, um, almost blatantly so, and so I DNF'd that and then decided to start this. And I really just enjoyed it. It's really full of adventure. Um, once the plot, I mean it grabs you right away and then it kind of lulls just a little bit, but then the plot you know, because they have to build some background and then the plot really starts to pick up again. And I read like the last 130 pages in one sitting, uh, which I knew was going to happen. So I didn't read for a couple of days because I want to make sure I had time so that I could just read through to the end. Um, it's definitely a happily ever after kind of story. Um, there's definitely conflict, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Uh, at first I thought this was going to end up being a four star read for me, but it's, I think it's a five star. I really liked it and I really enjoyed the messages um, you know kind of the main message really is holding out for true love and that your past doesn't necessarily have to define you and I think those are really important messages um, there was a little bit about you know sacrificing yourself for the one you love and putting them before you and I, I don't necessarily agree with that I'm kind of of the self-help um, realm where you know like at the end of the day you are your number one. I mean, I get sacrificing yourself for a, one person, perhaps, if that person means that much to you. And, you know, I guess it's kind of a fine line for some people between something like that and being a complete doormat. Um, so, I guess, you know, be willing to make sacrifices for someone you love, but I don't know if you should sacrifice, like, your very life for that person. I mean, I guess like if it was your child or something, I don't know. I guess I have problems when I read it, but now that I'm thinking about it, I guess it's really not that much of an issue and who can really say unless they're in that situation what they would be willing to sacrifice for somebody else. Um, so this is a really enjoyable read, Victorian England, which was super fun. Um, I'm really a fan of the historic, like historical fiction and I didn't really realize that I was. I also enjoy, um, you know, magic and mystery thrown in. There is no magic in this, but it's just really well written. And I think I actually want to check out the Dune series, which is also by this author, because now I'm kind of curious about it. She has really great uh, characterization. Um, Jack is totally, like, easy to fall in love with. And Olivia is a strong female protagonist who is, I found her super likable. And I'm pretty picky about my female protagonists. Um, so if you're looking for something a little different and not your typical like fairy tale retelling, then may I suggest to you Olivia Twist. In the meanwhile, happy reading.